Hey guys, this is Red Silvers, and this is the first video I've done on YouTube for a long, long time. In fact, I actually did a little tweet today about this, although nobody knows at the time that I was tweeting because of this series I'm recording. But I did a tweet and I asked people which they liked more, the orcs or the humans. And the tweet actually, the, the poll hasn't ended yet, but so far the orcs are in a huge lead. So I figure I'm just going to go with it. Well, obviously the orcs are the ones that people are liking more, so that's who we're going to do first. But this is Warcraft 2. This is one of the games that defined my childhood. Maybe not my childhood, but definitely my teen years. And I'm going to probably talk about that quite a bit through this. But I'm actually going to shut up for a minute. We're going to show the introduction because this is not the first time I pulled this up. So let's pull that up and you guys can see those great 1995 video graphics. Once mighty army of Azeroth lay among the blackened and charred remains of Stormwind Keep. Those that escaped fled across the Great Sea, bringing tales of the suffering they had faced at the hands of the Orcish Hordes. Eager to engage in battle once again, the orcs constructed ships of war to bear them across the Great Sea. The orcish warriors yearned for the sounds of battle to fill the air and looked to the far horizon for new blood to spill. Using the weapons forged by their new allies, the humans made haste to prepare for the onslaught. While dwarven cannon were being loaded, others armed themselves with elven steel and mail. Alrighty, great introduction there. I remember in Warcraft 3 in the ending credits they have a bit and they recreate parts of that and also parts of other stuff. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a new campaign. We're going to be playing through Tides of Darkness, which is the original Warcraft 2. Uh, there also is the expansion. We'll probably be playing that later on. So let's get this started. Another cutscene here. Well, level introduction. So once again, I'm going to have to shut up while they tell us what's going on in the first level. The Horde is preparing to launch an assault against the mainland of Lordaeron. Orgrim Doomhammer, war chief of the Orcish Hordes and ruler of the Blackrock Clan, has ordered you to establish a small outpost on Lordaeron's southern shores. To secure the Zuldair region as Doomhammer demands, you will need to construct a barracks and several farms to feed your troops. Your success may help us determine the extent of the pathetic human defenses and what resistance they can offer against our forces. Alrighty, so first level pretty basic. Down here it sums it up. Build four farms, build the barracks. This is your learn how the world, the game works. So if you've never played one of these games before, this is a real-time strategy game. For the orcs, peons are your builder guy and get builders and gatherers. So we're going to have him go and do that. And we have enough food to build one more. We're going to build another peon. So in a way, the orcs are kind of the bad guys. Later on, it gets a little more, more complicated than that. But starting out in Warcraft, it seems like the orcs are like the bad guys. They're these invaders from another world. Humans are the good guys. And Warcraft 1 was actually the first war that they mentioned in the beginning. And the orcs won that war. They took over the Kingdom of Azeroth. They slaughtered everybody. 
the humans of Azeroth fled and went north to Lordaeron. The orcs are kind of following them there. And actually, I don't know why I'm having this guy chop. I need him to build another farm so we can make more people. So the peons are your builders and gatherers. They gather your gold, your lumber. You use to build. And then these guys are the orc grunts. They're your basic attackers. Peons are kind of useless for fighting, but you can use them if you have to. Here we have a footman we're going to take out. Pretty much you can't lose this level unless you tried really hard. In fact, I don't even know if it's possible because I don't think that you could lose everything. I don't think there's enough enemies on the map to take out everything. Like, I'm pretty sure these three grunts could take out everything in the area. Alrighty. And I mean, we could build the barracks, we could get more grunts going, but this first level we don't really need to. So, I kind of realized that in a lot of my videos that I, I have this qualifier, but originally the way I got into this game is my cousins had the original Warcraft. They were really more of, like, high-end PC, PC gamers at the time than I was. I was very much a console gamer. Where did that guy run off to? There he is. So, they got Warcraft Orcs and Humans, the first game. And I played it a few times, and I thought that was the coolest game. Alright, now that we've got more farms, I'm going to build more peons here. So, they had the game, and I couldn't get it to run on my computer. And they had like an option, you could install the game without having the disc, I believe. You just had to have the key and then you could do like an install that it wouldn't need the disc. But you'd be stuck with MIDI music and stuff like that. So, they had the game. I didn't have it. Then, I, later on we got a better computer and I saw Warcraft 2. So I got Warcraft 2. And I eventually did get Warcraft 1 and play it, but Warcraft 2, I played a lot more of. It is a better game, but that's part of that's just the age. So, right around 1995, I got this game, like, it was pretty brand new. The expansion pack wasn't even out yet when I got this game. And... I never played a strategy game like this, but it blew my mind. And I really liked the idea that you could play as both the orcs and the humans. Because, like I said, the orcs are kind of the bad guys, so it was kind of like that cool thing, like, oh, I'm going to play as the villains, and I get to go and, and kill everybody. And so I liked that part of it. But what really made Warcraft 2 stand out for me is that there's a map editor that came with the game, so you can make your own levels. And it's not quite as robust as the actual levels in the game. Like, with the map maker, you basically can make the terrain, but your goal is basically you're going to take out the other army. Whereas some of the missions in the game here have different objectives. But the idea that I could make my own levels for the game was the neatest thing to me. And then, as it went on, like people actually built all kinds of programs to go with it. Alrighty, we've got our four farms set up. So to win the level, I just gotta build the barracks, and we can go on to the next level. But first, I've gotta show off, because when Warcraft 2, when you click on enemies and on units, you piss them off. So, we got the peon, he's gonna be our little test subject right now. And piss him off. Look out! Missed me! Phew, <laughs> that tickles! I would not do such things if I were you! Oh, I always thought these were silly. My feels funny! <laughs> Excuse me! Alright, that's all that he'll do, but they're silly, every unit has their own. 
And I'll tell you right now, I am not Mr. Like Tech when it comes to moving my enemies or my units around. Like I am not the person that's gonna sit here and manipulate how I click because I'm gonna control where they move and stuff like the kind of stuff you see in StarCraft, like high-end StarCraft player, Warcraft 3 or anything like that. Like I am not that kind of player. And even if I was at one point, like I haven't played this game in at least ten years, probably more, other than turning it on to see if it worked on this, so you know, that's what we're dealing with. So if I'm bad at the game to, in your eyes because I don't know all that stuff, then I guess that's just kind of let's play this is gonna be and I'm sorry. But once this barracks is done, we'll be done with the first level here. We'll move on to the second level. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get in this first video. I don't want it to run too long, but at the same time, like just a video of just this first level would be pretty boring and wouldn't get a lot of response. Alright, that's that. It's gonna end the level any second now. It takes it a minute. There we go. What the heck? We'll save this. You get ranked at the end of it to see how well you did. We got a rank of slave. I don't think you could not have that ranking because there's not enough stuff to kill to make that happen. Our spies report that a band of human soldiers have captured a war party led by Troll Commander Zul Jin and have taken them to a secret prison near the township of Hillsbrad. Seeing an opportunity to place these captives in debt to the Horde, Doomhammer sends you to ransom Zul Jin and his trolls and return them to their own encampment nearby. The War Chief believes that this raid upon the unsuspecting prison will strike terror into the hearts of those who would dare resist the horde alrighty so this is a rescue mission you don't actually get to the point to where the enemies have their own base until about the fourth level and we've actually got more guys than we have food for right now but since there's a set number of enemies in this stage we're not really too worried about that like I'm just going to gather up these grunts, and probably won't be too worried about this. I'm going to go ahead and build another farm anyway, just for down the line, but you can already see just on the map here, this is a bit bigger level than the last one we were in, but we've got nine grunts. We're going to plow through things. Uh, these archers, these elven archers are pretty weak once they get into melee range, so... It would, one on one, one of them would not take out one of these grunts. Footmen are about equal to the grunts. And I mean, there's a tower here. I don't even think this is an attack tower. Yeah. There's a tower, but it can't even attack us. It's just kind of there to decorate, really. We can take it out and we'll take off all the enemies in the area. So when this game came out, there was actually a strategy guide for it that I had. And what's interesting about the strategy guide is it told you how to play the levels, but they actually tried to like set up a storyline to it. So it wasn't just like, oh, do this. But they wrote it from the point of view of the person running the game as if they're a person, so they're like, oh yeah, this happened, and we took out this building, and then a horn went off, and the humans attacked. And I don't know how well that ties into the AI, but I always remembered that as being kind of neat. So in this stage, I think you can actually build trolls. Like, we got those trolls. But yeah, we could build a lumber mill, and we could build trolls, and our trolls would be red, because that's our color, even though these ones are black. And then Zul'jin here is teal. So you could, in theory, get them. You actually don't even need to bring all these guys. Although I did get... Let's bring a couple more. We'll bring our unit... Our, no, don't attack the wall. So we actually need to take these guys to their base. So we rescued them, but... We're not taking them back to our base, we're actually right. taking them where they came from. Which, 
the humans have a counterpart right. level of this, but right. you just take them back to your own base. All right. Okay. But I kind of like this idea more because it makes gives you a reason okay. to explore a bit. And the main thing is, as long as one of the generic Body. troll axe throwers here survives, as well as Zul Jin here, which basically is kill. exactly the same kill. as them, he's like upgraded. He's got more range, but you can do that with the axe throwers later on anyway. So as long as two those two guys survive, it doesn't matter what happens to the rest of our army here. Right. And again, we're just gonna plow through uh, everything. Okay. All right. All right. You the boss. You and the I boss. actually know where to go. Okay. It's pretty simple to find. You okay. basically just follow the frozen river here. You the boss. Okay. You the boss. Okay. But I mean, like you can see, like I built a farm right. at my base, and then okay. it basically done nothing. All right. Except for that peon is walking around Ooh, doing his thing. All right. But our base is basically not All even right. necessary. All right. Let's All see, right. here's their base. They've got towers. Here's the, they've got a farm up here. But this is the objective, is this circle of power. Like, once I bring him here... But I don't think that okay. counts until I get one of these guys. Yeah, see, so you had to get both of them. Alright, we'll save that. And we're still a slave. We didn't do hardly anything. But hey, at least we destroyed a building this time. That's always great. And we lost one, one grunt. Preparation for a final strike on Hillsbrad, the War Chief directs you to begin construction of facilities for the Orcish Armada near the South Shore region. Zuljin and his trolls, eager to take revenge upon the humans who imprisoned them, have agreed to aid the Horde by supplying axe throwers and destroyers to assist in defending your South Shore operation. A shipyard must be constructed in order to build our wave riders, and you will need much of the black liquid known as oil to build your fleet. Our assaults on Hillsbrad cannot begin until your task is completed. Alrighty, so now we're going to bring in the naval aspect of the game. Huh? So, they're going to have a little bit more of a base here. Also, we're not in the middle of the Winterlands anymore. So I guess we actually need to have you build another farm because I don't have any food. Because, yeah, there's a ship down here taking up part of our food. So we're on an island here, and I know that we're not alone, but I've only got these two guys on land plus our ship. Can't quite go and take out everything yet. So once that farm is done, we'll get some more peons going. We'll start getting our production up because Work complete. hasn't really been something we've been too worried about before. Ready to work. And I don't think we can build a lumber mill until we get. Well, we have enough lumber, so let's have this guy work on gold. I do have the Fog of War setting on. I'm not used to using that setting when I play this. So I'm... It's going to be a little different. Eventually I'll have stuff that can help me deal with that. But I'm not used to having the Fog on. Alrighty, I'm going to get one of these guys once they come out with the money. You... You can come up here. We'll build the lumber mill up here. That way they can take the the wood back to the lumber mill and they're not interfering with the gold line here. Actually, let's bring these guys all together. 
I don't know how effective this is gonna be. Yeah, see, my ship's not open to that at all. I guess I could have gotten the ship ahead and I'd have seen that that guy was there. Yeah, see, there we go. Yes, Captain. Ahoy, we love to. Ahoy. And I think that that ship attacking like that will hurt the grunt that's there. So that's not always the best thing to do. Let's see, we found that there's another gold mine over here. I would love to. I do think that there's an, a ship in the area somewhere here too. I would love to. So I'm kind of being cautious with them right now. Alright. Alright, you're done. You probably told me that and I just ignored you like a jerk. So you go back to my to that. Now just by having a lumber mill, we actually start getting more lumber for each trip back. And we can upgrade our trolls the way that Azulajin was kinda stronger than a regular troll. Alrighty. I'm gonna want a barracks. Eventually. Also, now that I've built the lumber mill, I have an advanced structure I can build the shipyard, which I'm actually going to do that because the shipyard get down here where you can see. The shipyard is actually more important for the goal of the level. Oh, well, that's why I can't go there. Too close to that oil patch. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. 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 I'll just let those guys work for a minute here. All right. The boss. Work complete. Yes, Captain. Ahoy! We're being attacked. Okay. The boss. Oh, Are see, I lost my grunt. Now this footman over here, he's gonna take out this troll all by himself okay. because the. That was not quite what I wanted yes, to do. Captain, you're the captain. Ahoy! I would love to. I would love to. So this is actually a really bad position to be in if I, I were playing to. a level that wasn't one of Ahoy. the starting levels I because if the enemy had a I base, I have nothing to defend my base right now. Work like nothing me. would be stopping the. Dog, dog. Those guys are just coming and wrecking my base right now. I could take them out eventually, but... That's alright. Maybe I should have built more defenses first? Yes, Captain. Ready to work. So right now it's it's lumber. We need a lot of lumber. We'll go ahead and get a our oil tanker going. I won't need a lot of oil, but I have to build the the platforms. And enemy oil tankers are the worst thing about these naval battles because they'll just run away from you. They'll run away from you, and they just take forever to kill, and then they'll start building a platform. Even if they don't have the anywhere to return it to, they're they're weird. The AI is weird with those tankers. Right, you come and cut on this other side. My guys are kind of not doing the best job of harvesting from the. It's like harvest here near the the mill so that you come back with less distance. Yes, I would to. You're the captain. Alright, number mill number one is being built. I'm gonna grab one of the gold miners here as soon as one pops out. You, let's get another... Let's not get another farm because I'm waiting for lumber. Everything in this stage is lumber. Hi, matey. Now, I actually don't need to build a You're barracks the for this level. I can just use uh, my naval force for the rest of the map. 
You're the captain. Like this footman captain. over here, he can't do nothing You're to stop captain. me. You're the captain. You can get that the guy. Captain. There you go. Arg. So the way these destroyers attack, they kind of do a splash damage and they don't do a set amount of damage because I guess it's more the explosion around them that does the damage than the actual damage. Oh, there's the enemy fleet. They're going to take me out. I didn't do hardly anything to them, but that's fine. Because we're going to start replacing our fleet. But nobody's on our island, so... My base is safe. So I don't even need to build a barracks. Like, that would have been a waste of time to build a barracks. So the oil platform here has the third resource. You got the gold, lumber, and the oil. And I probably don't need a bunch of oil, more oil. Like, I really just need oil to build the destroyers in the context of this level. So I could even just bring that one oil tanker with me and have him build the rest of the platforms that I need to win the level. And see, I upgraded my axes. I didn't even need to do that. Done building ship. I would love to. So I'll get one more of these and then we'll go start taking over the oceans. Yes, Captain. And I already know there's nothing down here, but we're gonna go down here just to fill in the map. I would love to. You're the captain. I matey, you're the captain. You're the captain. Yes, Captain. Eventually this fog would be more of a hindrance. Well, I was just thinking I didn't show off any of the annoyed voices in the last level, and I don't have any grunts or trolls to show off in this video. Yes, Captain. I would love to. All right, what the heck? I'll do one more destroyer just as a backup. Arg. Where did I get attacked? And why are you standing Arg. around? Zug zug. Did. Somebody get shot by a Arc, ship up I here? You're the captain. I can kind of see Ahoy. that actually. Yep. You're the captain. That's Build what was going on. I would love to. Ahoy! You're the You're captain. The captain. Hi, matey. Alrighty, so we definitely have You're to take out this oil platform. Ahoy. Ahoy. Oh, let's get that guy first though. And yes, I would love to. you guys come up here. Ahoy! Ahoy! Get another tanker going here. Yes, I would this love is gonna to. take forever. I would love to. Sorry. I would love to. Bio platforms are kind of one of the worst things in sure. a level where you have to take out everything. I would love to. You're the captain. Because yes, captain, they take forever the to destroy, and as soon as you clear it out, the oil tanker will hop in there and start building a new platform, and they build it faster than you can take out the platform, Arc, so you just take forever. Ahoy, you're the captain. And kind of do that and keep the tanker away a little bit. Make it harder for the tanker. You're the captain, yes, Captain. Ahoy! I don't even think this is a shipyard over here. I think this is just a refinery. Like, it's not even a building that we can build yet. That doesn't actually do any good for them because they don't have any resources to actually do anything in this level. Okay, you go right there so that jerk doesn't take over the platform. Oh, they've got another platform somewhere. Go get that elf. Oh. 
So maybe now that that ship's gone to the other platform, they'll leave this one alone. Yeah, there's a refinery. It's like a lumber mill, but for oil. I would love to. You're the captain. I mean, you don't need to actually take that oil back. You come over here. I would love to. I would love to. And we're gonna build up Ahoy. here. And actually, it looks like I'm coming up on the half hour mark pretty soon here, so I'm actually gonna end it after this level, and we'll just start the next video fresh in the first real level of the game, once this platform's done anyway, we'll just start on the fourth level, which I think is a good place to start, because that's when the enemy actually starts getting a base and we start having to actually use some strategy, instead of just throw warm bodies at it until we win. Oh, you guys are being jerks. It's a good thing I don't need you for anything right now. Lazy bones as soon as I look away. So until next time, this has been Red Silvers. Check me out on Twitter. Drop that like or subscribe. And until next time, have a good night.